Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. First, I'd like to thank uh, Professor Giovanni Fenocchio, who uh, gave me the opportunity to share with you my subject matters of topological spintronics, dynamics, and symmetry breaking for energy efficiency memories. And then I'd like to acknowledge the support from uh, our funding agencies. I have a lot of people to be thanked for. First, my co-authors, uh, they did most of the work, and uh, my uh, former student, as well as my colleagues, and my colleagues at the, at the NIST, there's the, a the Neutron, and uh, Johann Graf for the MPI in Germany, uh, there's X-ray, and uh, many other surprise us in materials, as well as the theoretical support uh, of, as well. In addition, Recon Japan also uh, supply, supply us uh, additional material as well. As you know, most important physics happens at the interface. For example, in topological insulator, interface with different materials, we have the spin orbital coupling, which resulted to a spin momentum lock, also showing the quantum anomalous hole. So the spin orbital interaction or spin orbital coupling uh, produce at the interface the proximity effect due to exchange. The other system Maria interaction resulting spin texture and chirality, for example, skirmium and other topological phase transitions such as Axion and Majorana or Enias. Obviously, the atomic understanding at the interface is very important. But in the interest of time, I will discuss most of the spintronics. I should mention that uh, due to this spin open interaction, we result a spin hard in the bulk at the interface, more so the, due to the rush bar. And the spin orbit interaction also result in a very effective voltage control spin, which is uh, important for high efficiency system as well. So as an introduction, let me just mention that spintronics uh, in the past, if, for example, the manufacturer in the past few years, in addition to the ever spins from a taco to STT spin transfer torque, uh, all these are current driven, now engaged by uh, major companies such as Intel, Global Foundry, TSMC, Samsung, as well as many startups, working towards perhaps spin orbit coupling or spin orbit torque, as well as a voltage controlled. In other words, we change that to voltage control, which should make energy more efficient. Moving ahead, uh, they will move into more of the chips in which you incorporate the logic in, in the architectures for high speed or memory intensive. In the research area, what I will be discussing is a topological SOT and a ferry and anti ferro magnetics. Uh, hopefully, there will be potentially application and computing in memories. Of course, the difficult part of the AFM is the readout is difficult to have a readout signal. Therefore, the ferry plays an important role. And the, looking ahead, the nonlinear, non-collinear, anti-ferro uh, would be of uh, great interest as well. Of course, the, the spin texture resulting in skirmion also uh, is of great interest, particularly for ferry and anti-ferro as well. In the past few years, we have started looking at the topological surface state oriented SOT. By looking at the double layer of the topological insulator, in this case, uh, bismuth antimony telluride, with a comb doped bismuth anti antimony telluride as a ferromagnetic layer, in which result the perpendicular anisotropy by passing current through the SOT of a switch this magnetic layer. And this can be modeled, uh, can be measured by the anomalous hull with the hull structure over here. Now, the SOT, of course, governed by 
LLG gradient resulting in uh, damping like torque and feel like torque shown over here. In the perpendicular and a sort of P, clearly you need to uh, uh, break the, the symmetry in order to be deterministic. So by breaking the symmetry, in this case, apply the, the field uh, in the X or Y direction here, such that then we will be able to have a deterministic switching for the perpendicular and isotropy. Another way of looking at is by applying the field, for example, in this uh, uh, beat, uh, Y direction, for example, and uh, certainly by putting all the effective field together, the equilibrium field has to be in the M direction, and this resulting the, uh, the, the, the deterministic direction as shown over here. By changing current to the opposite direction, uh, you can see this uh, the, the field, uh, the both of the field change, such that this will be a, the equilibrium position for that. Likewise, the reverse uh, bias field will make it uh, another two uh, stable position uh, to give rise to a top uh, the uh, deterministic switching. So this can be, as I said, then monitored by or measured by the anomalous Hall effect. In this case, uh, we did it to degree Kelv uh, to minimize the bulk effect. We also chose the film thickness carefully so that it minimized the, the bulk effect as well as uh, the intercoupling of the two surfaces. And indeed, we show the switching and uh, uh, both uh, apply field in the one direction or the other, and as shown over here. Likewise, uh, at about the same time, our Dan Ross group also published the similar experiments and similar structure. Uh, in this case, he used uh, the ferromagnetic resonance experiments. Uh, at the time, there's a clearly an issue about how large that is, uh, because we show that's about 5,000 times larger than, say, for example, the uh, metal case. And uh, so this was uh, uh, quite surprising. The, uh, then uh, the issue come up with uh, what it function the room temperature and uh, what would be the temperature dependence. And uh, there, uh, there seems to be a lot of discrepancies in the results. Uh, so uh, a substantial discussion uh, happened at the time. A few years later, uh, Jim Ping White's group also used spot of film uh, instead of MBE film here. And they show that uh, indeed they, they can have the, the spin orbit torque uh, efficient uh, as well, although much smaller uh, compared to low temperature. So uh, the spin hall angle uh, at the time, of course, is the question uh, is that uh, if you evaluate the uh, 3D case, because uh, 2D, a topological surface is 2D, so there's a question about what what is effective thickness of topological surface states? And after proper assessment, about two to three uh, nanometers. So we went ahead to verify whether the surface states is predominant one or not uh, by changing antimony concentration in the BST material for X equals zero, that would be N type, the, the Fermi level would be at a conduction band. As we increase this uh, antimony concentration, the, uh, the, the Fermi level decreases and it eventually becomes P type. And this can be done by how measurements determine the two dimensional carrier density, increasing, uh, decreasing from uh, 80, uh, down to about a few 10 to the 12 and, of, and up again to the turn when it changes to p-type. Likewise, from the resistivity, it actually increases to the compens to the, uh, the, where the, the Fermi level is right at the, at the direct point here and then uh, coming down again. And this, uh, uh, so we also measure the current density for switching and the current density for switching is actually dropping as you move toward the, the surface states. Likewise, the S SOT efficiency, which is determined by the effective field divided by current density, also picked the, 
at uh, at uh, when the surface states are predominant. Okay, we also look at the, the temperature dependence and uh, for a couple of different techniques by Mock with uh, the curl rotation and by uh, by the shift by applying the Z magnetic uh, the magnetic field in the Z direction to measure this effective field. And all shows the quite reasonably consistent uh, consistency in the in by the two me measurements here. Now, uh, although at a higher temperature, it shows still at, at some discrepancy because there is a different bulk concentration depending on how you prepare BST, etc., and different thickness as well. But by and large, at low temperature, meaning when the bulk concentration is not quite significant, they are quite uh, uh, reasonable agreement uh, up to 20 degree Kelvin. And the dependence is about T2 of 2.5 and can be attributed in part due to phonon scattering. And for metal case, there are actually very little dependence uh, because uh, you don't have the, the bulk and surface uh, effect uh, as, as in the case of topological surface states. So, we collected uh, all the data as well, different kinds of materials, so topological insulator versus tantalum, tungsten, and platinum heavy material, metal materials. And uh, we show that indeed uh, the, the hall the angle, the spin hall angles is actually much larger. This is at the room temperature now uh, compared to others. Uh, in fact, the BST uh, is the highest because we can carefully con uh, uh, control the antimony concentration so that surface stays maximized. So in terms of switching, the corner for switching is much lower compared to others, and SLT efficiency is much higher. Uh, converting to effectively power dissipation wise for if one uses for the uh, memory devices uh, is, is again a much more significant uh, by a factor of uh, 10 to 100 depending which materials. Next. Younger with groups in 2016 reported the uh, near order switching by stagger field in which one use, uh, he uses the copper manganese arsenide and non central symmetric crystal structure because of this uh, structure that uh, there's a effective rush bar field, and in this case, causing these two sub ladders to tilt up. As shown on top here. And to these two sub ladders of the magnets uh, A and B, uh, resulting a torque uh, uh, such that, that it will sort of push this uh, near order to the 90 degrees, resulting uh, the switching. And that is called stagger field induced switching. In this case, one used that uh, planar hall, which is 90 degree of this bar, to measure the switching. Of this, uh, of the right column on this uh, uh, fatter electrode here, and show the the anomatous res or planar hall resistance of the uh, exactly the switching as number of pulses use about about ten millisecond with a one second sort of duration uh, of the uh, uh, periodicities. Similarly, immediately after a uh, couple, uh, then uh, two groups. Song and the Cormier group show that similar uh, switching based on the nickel oxides case, as well as the Arnold's group also show similar type of switching. And this is very exciting, except that uh, a couple of years later, uh, it, the, uh, it was demonstrated by Jiang uh, Chen as uh, groups and uh, show that uh, this kind of uh, switching, it requires a substantial high column of the 10 to the 7, uh, mid 10 to the 7 ampere square centimeter, which is uh, extraordinary high temperature, uh, temperature gradient as shown over here. In this case, it turns out that with this temperature gradient, even though with a milliseconds uh, pause and, uh, and the periodicity of uh, second, they still raise the temperature as resulting the resistant change similar to what uh, I reported here at, uh, at, uh, 
uh, this uh, short electoral probe electoral here. Likewise, uh, Lu Chaoliu's group at MIT also show similarly and the thermal magnetoelectric effect that is by heating the substrate expansion causing the non-uniform stress and resulting the magneto resistance induced uh, re the, the change and such that you have a similar effect. So this cast the, the controversy on to can are we really can we really stretch the anti-ferromagnetic by, by electrically? So uh, we saw that we should try to use a fairy electron because the fairy, for example, copper ion sublattice and the gadolinium sublattice earlier they showed that uh, by Cato that indeed they have two compensation and uh, it's angular momentum compensation and magnetization compensation points and show the different uh, the MS as well as well uh, the KX as well. So uh, then later uh, the stencil of uh, Theo uh, racing scoop uh, in, in 2006 show that uh, that uh, indeed the two subdatas will have the resonant frequency of the fMR frequency shown that uh, should be a sort of uh, increasing near the angular momentum compensation points. Although they also show the, the deep, uh, supposedly deep, but of course experimentally shows a little different. But what is shows that uh, uh, indeed they could have a so-called exchange coupling of two sub uh, frequency as well as the FMR frequency to frequency. And likewise, they show that uh, the damping could be a function of this temperature as well. So what, what it really transpired to is the compensated, the ferry magnet would have a zero, could be zero magnetic factor, would have a near vectors and uh, ultra high uh, spin dynamic or order as close to 100 gigahertz. And that's uh, very interesting. So we uh, use uh, uh, this the type of material together with uh, with a topological insulator, uh, business salonite in this case, and with the two sub letters, we can switch actually at a much lower uh, corner density compared to uh, the previous case of uh, the copper manganese arsenide. And uh, indeed, uh, if I probe the, uh, the, the, the SOT efficiency, which is the effective field uh, divided by colon density, for example, and show indeed that it actually uh, peaks near the compensation point here. And likewise, the magnetization should be uh, up down to zero with the magnet magnetization compensation points. So one of the advantage of using the gadolinium copper ion is that uh, there are two different subdatas, and we can distinguish this uh, switching of two subdatas by the use of X-ray absorption and XMCD. So you can see from ion case on L3 and L2 with the different circularized polarized lights resulting X-ray a uh, sort of uh, magnetic circular dichroism, SMCD, shown over here. And, and the gadolinium case, and because it's uh, alpha orbital, so it's M4 and M5, uh, and show the similar SMCD signal. And the, the, the color ones are the, uh, the X-ray absorption uh, spectroscopy uh, done here. So we went further, use a nanosecond pulse, but the two nanosecond pause here and to do a read and write. Indeed, let me show the read and write uh, very consistently. We also use a uh, 100 femtosecond light pause uh, onto the Austin switch to create a picosecond column pause. And then we read the mark. So uh, in, in sort of a DC manner, and we, we see that indeed that uh, uh, this uh, femtosecond or the terra Hertz type of pulse can switch that, and uh, we can detect this uh, the most signal from the from the hard resistance and calculate and also from circular polarized uh, as well by the monk. As I pointed out before, the SOT of PMA uh, requires a symmetry breaking. In particular, the use of mirror symmetry 
or inversion symmetry breaking. And this is normally done by applying the input magnetic field in this case, so we break the symmetry. And uh, earlier day, we showed that by waging the wafer, uh, a very thin waging that it produces effective field in the perpendicular direction. And that, that uh, gives rise to uh, symmetry breaking. But however, waging wafer is not necessarily the most uh, attractive one, in particular, not convenient, not convenient for manufacturing. So what we did is investigate into the chiral symmetry breaking, in which we uh, uh, first learned with a, a gadolinium copper ion case, the gradient, the gradient, the composition, such that the MS will change along the uh, y direction, for example, in this case. Now, since, as I showed before, the effective SOT field is inverse proportion to MS, so the derivative also is inverse uh, proportion to MS. So in that case, the, the, if the SOT field, in, as I illustrate over here, would be uh, larger uh, and, and toward uh, uh, minus x direction as, uh, as the mx increases become smaller. So that gives rise to the torque that it will tell the, the smaller one much larger. And uh, compared to the, uh, uh, this will be the case that for uh, the clockwise chirality, which gives rise to the Circuit, uh, the uh, the uh, spin texture of this of this crosswise chirality, and this is consistent with the DMI the positive. In other words, when a DI, DMI is positive, with the corner driving this direction here, the the, the spin texture will be the crosswise. So this is the right uh, chirality. If one change corner direction, of course, it still maintain the chirality, and the spin texture will be. Uh, shown over here, so that you will have a same chirality in stretching. Likewise, if I have a negative DMI, that would result into anti clockwise chirality that will select uh, different kinds of uh, uh, stretching direction. So, uh, again, however, though, if we created the composition, although the thickness in D direction is uh, the uniform, but still uh, that would be uh, slightly challenging in, in, in manufacturing. So we, from the above consideration, if we have an implant gradient, for example, the right direction of the MS, then by passing cotton through, then we could have a deterministic switching, that is a feel free switching, as I illustrate here. You could also change reverse current, the chirality uh, remains the same. So what is more exciting is that, uh, that uh, if we graded the outer plane direction, that is the gradient of Z direction, it, as uh, stressed below here, in the, so for example, if we grade it uh, in the smaller MS down below, then one should have a high SOT effective field. And in this case, what we'll determine the chirality of, uh, of the stretching also give rise to feel free deterministic stretching as I shown over right here. I should point it out that in passing that the upper first group and uh, his associates show that uh, in the more recent paper published in July, uh, in NatureCom shows that a similar feel-free stretching using cobalt turbine gradient. We use uh, LLG to perform the chiral symmetry breaking simulation. The following parameters are used in our simulation. We show that uh, you could have a deterministic voltage control, uh, magnetic isotopy, and isotopy in perpendicular uh, direction using the VCMA and OVC DMI. You could also show that uh, one can have this deterministic switching as well in SOT switching. What is illustrated down below here is in, the, in step four, for example, the Z direction, which is shown to red, point up 
as in four here, apply, applying, applying a V voltage, positive voltage, for example, it uh, reduced perpendicular and a sort of piece of the MZ collapse and uh, becomes an X direction and shows in the red line here, right? So uh, this will deter, this the direction of switching, of course, determine chirality, for example, in this case, clockwise. Now, yeah, upon removal of uh, voltage, then the one that can be, could be go back to four, but because the chirality dictates, it must go clockwise number two, and as shown over here, and upon removal of the, of the uh, upon applied and another pulse again, the positive voltage again, then of course it must go to number three chirally and the process continue. And this is also illustrated in the right here. The number one uh, will be uh, from the up, go to right, and then one to two, to down, and to the left to three, and up to four. So we also look into anti magnetic skirmium in this system. It would, as you all know, the skirmia will have a whole effect that, uh, such that that will move the skirmia in a tangential direction. By compensating to some others, one could have the skirmia moving in the right direction. In addition, it provides the ultra high uh, skirmia dynamics as well because of the very or fully compensated anti ferromagnetic. And the, by the use of topological insulator, one could take advantage of anti ferromagnetic skirmia with a DMI from topological interface uh, as well. So uh, we look at this uh, coupled skirmia and uh, indeed look at gadolinium from the, 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 from the, the ratio of the two uh, to uh, polarized uh, X-ray, and she in, indeed the gadolinium subnautis, for example, see here, and versus uh, ion subnautis of here. You can see over in the clear picture, simulated picture over there, and the larger picture point down and point up of gadolinium ion, and show illustrated on the right here. And it's due to uh, our friend's uh, graph from Max Planck uh, Institute, uh, uh, support in the, in the Betsy facility of uh, Berlin. So similarly use uh, this technique, but uh, uh, by providing the line scan and in, uh, of X-ray contrasts, the, uh, we tell, for example, in this case, you tell this uh, sample uh, about uh, 30 degree in the, in the axis, X axis here, and do a line scan of the Y axis as well as the X axis, showing the uh, near type of the skirmia of the asymmetric a little bit uh, uh, of uh, X direction and the Y direction quite symmetric. And from the curve fitting, one can obtain the skirmia size of diameter of 120 uh, nanometer or so. So, uh, so in summary, I have discussed the topological spintronics and I show the high energy efficient at high speed ferry and FM type of switching. The use of uh, symmetry breaking, particularly uh, the chiral symmetry for free free and deterministic switching. I also illustrate the AFM skirmia uh, in the ferry case. Looking ahead, looking ahead, I think the non collinear uh, spin texture of AFM would be very interesting because they give rise, give rise to opportunity of manipulating and detecting the uh, FM order uh, in a different manner. Also, the FM switching by uh, magnetic uh, phase transition induced uh, couple the FM and F FM order in the case of uh, ion rhodium would be uh, interesting in uh, making FM switching more vividly visible. And 2D materials such as chrome triiodides uh, also give rise to exciting opportunity. Uh, the key challenges for spintronics is has been and always will be the, the readout margin for to achieve alpha ratio of thousand percent. Perhaps use Euler's Euler material, and to have higher voltage control the efficiency either for magnetic anisotropy or for uh, DMI, uh, that uh, would be uh, very uh, 
interesting for very low MT application. So uh, finally, I still would like to uh, thank the, all my co-investigator, all my students, postdocs, visitors, as well as uh, collaborators around the world. And I support, uh, I acknowledge the support from uh, funding agencies. And of course, uh, uh, just say a few words about continuing uh, support or experimental work from my colleagues and my uh, for, in, in Max Planck, as well as uh, CNRS and uh, Coast and many other places, and uh, theoretical support as well. Above all, I'd like to thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.